Hey yo, what's up guys, it's Boy here and today we're gonna play some Summoner's War and in this video, I'm gonna give you my top 5 healers in the game right now. So, okay. So, of course, I'm gonna start with our favorite. <laughs> so, it's gonna be Bella. So, yeah, Belladian. Belladian, whatever. <laughs> whatever you call him. Well, yeah, it's commonly known as Bella and is a natural 3 star monster and I guess he's one of the best maybe not the best but one of the best since his heal so feel the attack bar it fills the attack bar by 30% and also recovers their HP by 30% so yeah that's a great heal and it's also a good tool um, to boost the attack bar of your monsters of the allied monsters so yeah it gives you the heal it gives you the sustain and it gives you a chance to get another turn if like everyone is slow so yeah and it's really easy to obtain you just have to like farm him in the SD and then maybe if you're you know if you're unlucky or slash lucky enough you're gonna get him in the L and D scroll and aside from his heal well yeah is 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 also a smart healer so he when you're when you're autoing is only gonna heal if your allied monsters of or if his HP is low enough so he doesn't heal like like randomly like the other monsters which uh which has a buff on them so if it gives a buff they're not really a smart healer so Bella is one of the smart healers in the game and his second skill here sees so it removes all beneficial effects on the target so it, it's just a chance it's not a hundred percent but yeah it also it's also a good tool to have on your healer and the first scale of course it um, breaks the armor of the enemy so yeah you just you just have to like make him tanky speedy somewhat uh, ideally like um, violent nemesis so yeah so that's uh, that's for the free to play players out there and then the second one I think it would be there are a lot of water you know units that are good healers I think it's going to be Emma yeah it's gonna be the nat 4 Emma the water neostone agent and yeah this is uh, her third skill Heals all allies by 30% of your max HP. Your max HP. Take note of that. And increases their defense for two turns. That is so good, man. Oh, like, uh, when you're about to die, you're gonna get healed up. And especially when she's on Nemesis. And then you're gonna increase the defense. Man, like, the survivability will be there. Like, the survive your chance of surviving, like, uh, you know, fatal attacks will be higher when you have Emma and this skill generates a shield that lasts for two turns and is equivalent of half of the excessive heal so it so from what I understand it's equivalent of half of the excessive heal so for example uh, the excessive heal on on your monster on a particular monster is 4000 then the shield will be equivalent to 2000 so yeah, she is really good. And she's also a smart healer. And yeah, it, it also, cutting magic, it's also like the seas of the oldest of Bella. So she's like an improved version of Bella. And then this one, yeah, it's, it's glancing. And this is really good for raid, particularly in raid because, you yeah, know, because uh, glancing is like really important uh, when you're running a raid team when you're farming R4 or R5 so yeah Emma she's not really that easy to obtain yeah you, you need to like pop a couple of scrolls and, and maybe she will you know you can summon her I also have her but yeah I haven't utilized her yet but yeah, I've seen her in action, and yeah, she is really good. She's a good healer, and like the shield and the and the defense um, buff, 
that is good for survivability okay on to the next one it's another um water monster so number three it is going to be where is she okay i don't have her that's why it's not it's not popping up there's no live okay so it's gonna be praha so yeah she is a nat 5 it's not really of course it's not easy to obtain her but a lot of people use her and then i think she's the only um what the all this monster on this list that um doesn't necessarily need a violent rune set uh, because uh, she will really benefit from despair so yeah let's talk about her third skill daydream recovers the hp of all allies by 50 percent by putting yourself to sleep for one turn and that is 50 percent for all allies that is so good <laughs> yeah the downside is um she's gonna be asleep for one turn but yeah you're gonna build her tanky um speedy and with some defense of course accuracy because of the second seal which we are going to talk about later on but yeah 50 percent for everyone that is crazy i mean there are a lot of other healers out there which also has other you know uses like revive uh their their skill only heals for 50 i mean it heals for 50 percent but only for one monster so yeah like 50% for everyone, for all allies. That's just crazy. And the second skill, Predicted Future. Yeah, this is the one that's really annoying, that strips everything. Uh, that strips your beneficial effects if you're up against a pro, which is very speedy. And for like, uh, she's always on Nemesis, like ideally. And yeah, and on Despair. So she has the chance to stun everyone after... Um, what do you call this? After he, she has uh, stripped the beneficial effects. And then the first skill, yeah. Just recovers 15% of the attack bar. And each time, each time the attack lands is a critical hit. So yeah. She's a very good healer. And, is, and she's also a smart healer. Because uh, it doesn't like give you buff or anything. So yeah. Covers HP. Of all allies be 50%. Yeah, I can't stress that enough. She's just so good. And of course, she's a nat 5. And she has a leader skill, which is very which is also very good. Because it's a resistance lead for 41%. It adds 41% resistance to all of your monsters everywhere. So so you can bring her anywhere and you can use her um leader skill. Okay, so yeah, enough of Pra, let's go to the next one. And this monster, I personally have him, it's gonna be Ariel. <laughs> so yeah, it's the Water Archangel. So yeah, nothing is, like, I have nothing much to say about him. Like, all of his, I mean, two of his skills are heals. So first one fills up the attack bar of all allies by 20% each. So yeah, attack bar attack bar boost and recovers their hp by 30 percent each 30 percent each and it gives a buff a heal buff that recovers 15 percent hp every turn for three turns <laughs> that is just crazy it boosts the attacks i mean it boosts the attack bar for 20 percent and then it kills you 30 percent and then it gives you a three turn heal buff <laughs> That is just a good heal. That is just a great skill. And then the second skill, this is a single target, Archangel's Blessing. Recovers an ally's HP for 50%. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, later. And then, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, it heals 50% for 50%, 50 but it's only a single target um, skill. Because if this is an AoE skill, it's just going to be so OP. So yeah. Pro, that's why Pro is so good as well. And then Ariel is kind of a pseudo, um, you know, a pseudo uh, stripper. <laughs> so yeah, it strips really good. 
So, removing beneficial effect on the enemy with a 75% chance. The damage increase according to our defense, that doesn't like really count. Because uh, you're not gonna like build him like a dim damage dealer. We just want him to be, you know, a violent nemesis and just heal up um, as long as he can. As much as he can. <laughs> So yeah, and he has a leader skill 50%, you know, HP boost for water monsters anywhere. So yeah, that's really quite good if you're like ra running a um, water heavy team. Okay, for our last monster, which I think is still the best healer in the game, it is going to be, where is she? Well, you all know this, like, uh very well yeah it's gonna be just soon i mean yeah i don't have her and like some people like uh say that yeah she's it's a great healer but she's not the best but yeah for me she's gonna be the best healer and she's gonna be the most annoying for me especially in the guild war <laughs> because like fallen blossoms like you stun her you disable her she's just gonna proc violent and then she's gonna pop off fallen blossoms to the to the what you all this to the monster with the highest HP and it well according to the to the description of the skill it balances the HP and attack bar of the target ally and your HP to a higher amount than before so yeah if someone uh, if you try to snipe her and you didn't kill her and then there's a monster there with a with full attack bar and full you know HP she's just like you know She's gonna, she's gonna copy that, <laughs> something like that, and then yeah, she's gonna have full HP again, and she's gonna have the next turn because our her attack bar is filled, and then she's gonna use the second skill, which is really not a smart heal because it like uh, it gives you uh, the attack power buff for two turns, but yeah, it's really so good, but it recovers the ally's HP by 20 percent of my of her max HP. So yeah, if you just have to build her like speed HP HP with you know so much HP and speed subs, then yeah, you're good to go. And of course, it's advisable for for you to go with her for violent. It's violent, yeah. And then the first skill it gives you know glancing hit, which is also very good in raid. Like sometimes in PvP, if you like constantly apply it uh, to the nuker of the enemy. And yeah, she's just so good, and I really hope I do get her. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, let me know in the comment section down below if you agree or disagree with this list and why. And I'd be really interested on your thoughts about this, about the top healers in the game right now. And just you know, just to give like a special mention. So Lewis, so this gal, she's also a healer. So Divine Wind, her third skill recovers the HP of all allies by 25% each, and creates a shield that's proportionate to 25% of your HP. I think that's also really good, but I haven't really seen her much in action. So yeah, but if we're gonna like make it the top six, she's gonna be one of them because yeah, it recovers 25% each of the, of the. 25% HP each of your allies, all of your allies, and it creates a shield. So yeah, that's also good for survivability. But yeah, I haven't seen her much in action, so she's gonna be like in the top, top six spot. <laughs> and yeah, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and do the opposite if you didn't. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.